I've been making videos on this channel for six months now. During that time, I've had lots of questions from you guys that I've shied away from. Topics that I've just not felt comfortable addressing on my channel. But I see your comments day after day and I know that this has been going on too long now. It's time for me to address the topics you want me to talk about, to tackle the questions that you've got for me. So today, I'm here to be 100% honest, to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth, to answer the questions that you really want answering. Today, you can ask me anything. Yep, you guessed it. It's time for the return of the ask me anything question and answer. If you've been watching my videos for a while now, you'll probably already know that quite often I'm reading my comments. I try and get through all of them. And for that reason, quite often the videos that you end up seeing here start as ideas that I get from you guys in the comment sections to past videos. But at the same time, I can't make a video out of every single question I get, which is why I always try and get back to you guys in some form or fashion. So for that very reason, every now and again, I like to do one of these ask me anything videos where I ask you guys for your questions and I try and get through as many of them as I can in a video. If you would like to submit a question to be featured in a future Ask Me Anything, you're going to want to follow me over on Instagram because that's where I announce these videos. And that's what I did very, very recently, actually. I hopped over to my Instagram account, told you guys I was looking for your questions, and lots of you came through. So today I picked out some of my favourites and I'm going to be answering them for you in this very video. And I have to admit, some of these questions took me a bit by surprise. But you know the rules by now, it's Ask Me Anything, so I just have to provide an answer. Wish me luck. And kicking us off today, is Tet1995 who asks, where can I find British guys to date? I'm tired of Swedes. Wow, this is quite the way to start this video. And I'm assuming you mean, where can I find Brits here in Sweden? Because of course the obvious place is, you know, hop over to London, there's quite a few of us there. But if you're looking here in Sweden, I would recommend that you head to Gothenburg. And the reason for that is because for those of you guys that don't know already, Gothenburg is often referred to as Little London. Now I'm probably being a tiny bit hypocritical here because I myself actually don't live in Gothenburg. But if I was to move tomorrow, it would probably feature high on the list of places that I'd be considering. So maybe indeed it really is Little London because there's something that makes it feel really cozy to us Brits. I really feel like it's a proper livable city. It's bigger than, for example, Malmö, but it doesn't feel as kind of bustly as it does in Stockholm. So it feels like somewhere where I could spend a lot of time. So on that basis, I would get the impression that the other Brits that are living here in Sweden have probably also made their way there. So if you're looking for a British date, I would consider getting started there. And if that doesn't go so well, maybe there's a dating app that's specifically for Brits living in Sweden. I don't really know. It's not something I've ever really had to think about, but I hope that helps. I wish you luck. Let me know how it goes. My next question today comes from William, who asks me thoughts about ABBA getting back together. And let's face it, unless you've been living under a rock for the last few weeks, you will have undoubtedly heard the news. At the start of the month, ABBA announced they'd be reuniting for a new project called ABBA Voyage, which would involve a whole new album. And on top of that, a live cinematic experience in London kicking off later this year which is basically going to be a lot of holograms because it's not actually ABBA performing but these holograms that are called the Abatrons. It's to mark their 40th year anniversary and as you can imagine lots of fans around the world have been going crazy. Two songs have already been released and they are climbing the charts worldwide but William wants to know what are my thoughts on ABBA getting back together. Well William let me tell you what I have to say I think it's pretty cool. I've not ever been the kind of person that listens to ABBA religiously but I have to admit they've got some earworms that are bound to get you moving at a family event or a wedding or something like that. They've got some classics that are always going to get you grooving on the dance floor. And for that reason, I think it's quite cool to see them coming back together again. I'm interested to see what changed their mind this time, because I know they've been offered a lot of money to get back together in the 20 and 30 year anniversary. But this time they decided that it is time to make it happen. And I'm interested to see what the results are going to be, to be honest. It's not going to be the show that I'm going to go and visit, but I would like to follow the experience and see what happens with the new music later this year. Will I be listening to the album? Not back to back, maybe a couple of songs. What about you guys? Are you excited for ABBA? Let me know down in the comments below. My next question today comes from Josephine, who asks me, have I tried Vanilla Hjattan? Epelmunka, Ella Struva, since I've been here in Sweden. For those of you guys that don't know, all three of these are classic fikas here in Sweden, and you guys know by now that I love myself some fika. And I can say, Josephine, that I have indeed tried two out of the three of these items. I have tried vanilla hjattan, and I have indeed tried an epelmunka, but I have not tried struva to my knowledge. It's not something 
something that I recognize at least. I have to do some Googling after this and see what's involved and where I can get my hands on one because I'm sure I'm gonna love it. Which actually reminds me, it's almost time to get my Semler season back on again because you guys know by now that Semler is my absolute favorite Fika and after Christmas time, it's gonna be back in all the shops again because the official holiday here in Sweden where you eat Semler comes up in the middle of February. For those of you guys that have not tried it before, I strongly recommend it. The only way I can describe this good is basically, it's almost like a donut, but it's like this soft bun and inside there's this crushed up mandel masa, which is basically like an almond paste. And then on top of that, you're gonna have a layer of cream and then another piece of bun that's been cut out from the original bun and put on top. And then you sprinkle it with all sorts of icing sugar. It's just beautiful. I could have six of them if I was allowed to, but you know, I would probably be too full and that's probably not gonna be a nice sight but they're incredible and you need to give them a go if you haven't already. Ruin Madil was the person that submitted my next question today and they ask, do you speak Swedish and if so, how did you learn? Oi, det är en bra fråga och mitt svar är ja. Jag pratar svenska, jag började att lära mig svenska med grupplektioner i London även innan jag bestämde mig att jag skulle flytta här till Sverige. Men sen, efter jag hade kommit här, så sen började jag med SFI som jag anmälde mig till och sen efter det lite med uh, folkuniversitet också. Så det var lite blandat i hur jag har lärt mig svenska. Men nu pratar jag ganska mycket svenska varje dag, på jobbet till exempel, men också med mina svenska kompisar. And with that, I hope I answered your question. And sticking with the theme of the Swedish language, my next question is actually written in Swedish and it comes from Sina, who asks, Hur ser du på hosten? Får vi vara mer normala i år? And if I translate Sina's question, it basically means, how do you think the autumn is going to be? Will we get to behave a little bit more normally this year? Good question, Sina. It's really hard to predict what the next couple of months are going to look like, because I kind of feel like we see some countries, for example, in the UK or in Israel, that were a bit further ahead with their vaccination effort than we were here in Sweden, for example, and they've seen it kind of fluctuate. It's not been that stable since more and more people have been vaccinated. So it's really hard to say, how how it's gonna go. Will we get another wave? Will we not? But with that said, I feel like society is already starting to feel a lot more normal. I think there's lots of things that we can stick with since the end of the pandemic, even when that comes. Things like making sure that when we're going to shops, we try and keep a little bit of distance, or if we can, we try and use hand sanitizer. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that's a good habit for us to get into. So I think society is starting to open back up again. I think the autumn will be a lot more normal, but it's hard to say what will happen when the winter sets in and we get into influenza season. Perhaps then we're gonna have to start going back again a little bit just to be safe for those people that are a little more vulnerable here in society. And with that, we've reached the end of another Ask Me Anything Q&A and you guys came out today. You asked some really hard hitting questions. I really didn't expect to be giving dating advice, for example, in this video, but I said you could ask anything and you guys sure did. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And if you've got questions that you would like me to answer in a different Ask Me Anything, the fourth part in this series, you can let me know down in the comments below as well. Drop me a like, then I know you want more videos like this. As I said, you're going to want to follow me on Instagram because that's where I announce all of these videos and collect my questions. As I said, this is also the third part though. So I've done two of these before. Links will be down in the description section if you want to go and get to know me a little bit better and get to know my answers to previous questions I've had in this series. But that's all I have time for today. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate the support. And I will see you guys again very soon in a new video. But until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.